Here's the story. I recently was doing some research about air assist and I learned that a lot of people will use aquarium pumps for the air assist on their laser. So I went on Amazon and I was looking around for aquarium pumps that might do the job and that's where I found this. So this is a $45 aquarium pump and I don't know about you, but I think it looks an awful lot like this $140 air assist pump that I bought from Xtool. And I literally just opened the box of this aquarium pump, so I don't know how it performs yet. So in this video, we're going to do a head-to-head -head comparison of the two on the specs, and then I'm actually going to do a project where I use the same laser, the same project, but different air assist pumps, so we can do a real apples-to-apples -apples comparison to see if maybe we could save ourselves 100 bucks in future air assist purchases, or maybe there's something inside of this Xtool air assist pump that we can't see that does improve the performance. I'm not really sure yet, so let's do the test together. Before we get into the test project, I think it's really important to point out what each of these pumps comes with, because you are going to need a few things in order to attach the pump itself to the laser head module for this to work at all. So this is the X tool here and everything that it comes with, except for the instructions, which I won't show here. But what we have is a lot of pieces and I have some good news and some bad news. Let's start with the bad news. The bad news is that a lot of these pieces would probably be really difficult to get from a different source other than X tool. But the good news is that you probably won't need a whole lot of them if you have a D1 Pro model of the X-Tool. So let me explain. I bought the 20 watt D1 Pro X-Tool laser and when I got my laser it actually came with one of these pre-installed with the laser shield all built in ready to go. And so I actually have two of these pieces and two of these pieces because I got one with my laser and one with my air assist. And so as I understand it, I think actually this entire pile of parts is only necessary if you are trying to retrofit an air assist to a D1, not a D1 Pro. So if you know otherwise, correct me in the comments, but as I see it, that seems to be the case. And so I don't think if you have a D1 Pro that you're actually going to need any of this pile of stuff, so I'll just set it aside. And what remains is just a few things. So it's these two pieces that go together and this just serves to connect the pump itself to the tubing. And then what we have here is some polyurethane tubing. And this just goes from there all the way on the other end to the laser head. And that's it. Here we have the aquarium pump. And as you can imagine, the things that come with this are quite different than what comes with the x tool. So first of all, we have this little splitter thing and I don't have an aquarium, so I'm not sure exactly why you would need this, but we don't need it for the laser engraver. So I'm just gonna set it aside. This other piece is really important. And that is a connection piece that goes from the pump itself to the hose or tubing that you're gonna to use to connect to the laser head. And so if we compare to what comes with the X tool, this piece on the aquarium does basically the same thing as these two pieces that you get with the X tool. However, it is worth mentioning that what you don't get with the aquarium pump is the polyurethane tubing that you're going to need in order to connect from that piece all the way to the laser head. And so this is what comes with the X tool. This is just pretty basic tubing, I think. And the size here is actually written on it, so I can give you that. It is six by four millimeter, and this is, in fact, polyurethane tubing. So I'll find some of this on Amazon and put a link to it in the description that I think is the right size if you want an example of this. And based on what I've seen, it's pretty inexpensive. You can get like 30 feet of it for just a few bucks. And so that's not too big of a hurdle. And two more things I wanted to quickly mention here are number one, the switches. So as you can see here on the right, the X tool has just a basic on off switch, whereas the aquarium pump has what appears to be an adjustable on off switch. So it looks like you would be able to kind of dial the airflow with this. However, as you might also be able to notice, this is cracked. And so the quality control on the aquarium pump appears to not be super good. Whereas on the uh, X tool side, the quality control and the packaging in my experience has been really good. And if you already know a thing or two about air pumps, then you might be thinking, hey, JJ, there is one really important thing that you haven't mentioned yet, and that is the power output. And yes, both of these do have the same rated power output by the manufacturer, and that is 30 liters per minute. Okay, now let's get into the project test itself. First, we just need to hook up our X tool air assist here and you can plug it into the hosing like that. And then you have to, if you haven't done this before, feed it through the laser head little loop there and then into this little nozzle on the end, which feeds into the laser head itself. Once you've got that going, of course, just plug it in and turn it on. And then I did do a little test here just to make sure air was coming out, and it was. So I have in Lightburn a little simple cloud design, and we're going to cut this out to see if we get any scorching or anything of that nature. So let's go ahead and run our test. We're just going to look at a little clip here, and then we'll skip ahead. Now here is the finished product. As you can see, there's a little scorch mark here and then also one over here, but overall it looks really good. There's that up close, and then here's this one up close. But other than that, it's pretty clean and you don't really have much on the bottom edges or 
anywhere else on the cuts here. Now let's move on to the aquarium pump here. First of all, we just gotta hook up the little connector piece so that we can connect to the tubing. This again is the tubing from the X-Tool, but I'm just using it also for this pump. Then we plug it in, and for this one, we just have to dial it on. I turned it all the way up. And I did also do a little test here to make sure air was coming through, and it was, so we're all in good shape here. Then I ran it, and we'll check back in in a second and see how this comes out. And here is the end result from the aquarium pump. As you can see, the bottom is still really clean, just like with the X-Tool, and we actually have the little marks in basically the exact same position that we had with the X-Tool. So you can see it there and uh, on the other side here as well. Those are where the marks are, but otherwise it looks pretty clean. And as with any good experiment, I did take a control where I cut the same design out with no air assist. And this is how it turned out. As you can see, a lot of scorching on the bottom and sides. And this is what it looks like if you compare everything. A lot of scorching on the no air, but the aquarium and X tool look very, very similar. So let's take a closer look at those two in particular. We can see this little scorch mark on the aquarium on the upper right hand side that we're looking at here and it's virtually the same mark on the X-Tool. And then if we rotate, there's one in this little notch here, and it's virtually the same thing with the aquarium pump. So let me get in close to that, and you can see it's nearly identical. I also ran a power grid test on each of these options, the X-Tool, aquarium pump, and also the control with no air assist. And there's a couple things from this test that I think are worth pointing out. So first of all, comparing closely the aquarium pump and also the X tool, there were some variations between them, but overall I'd say it's essentially a wash when it comes to performance between these two. But I also wanted to mention, if you didn't know this already, that sometimes if you're just doing engrave, actually using no air assist can perform better, which was the case here. Okay, we're back here with our two pumps. We have the aquarium pump here and we have the X tool pump over here. So if you were to take these two test pieces and remove the labels, stack them up and hand them to somebody who didn't know how they were made and ask them, hey, do you think these were made with the same air assist or a different air assist? I think nine out of 10 people are probably actually gonna say they were made with the same air assist because the imperfections that we do get are in basically identical positions and otherwise the performance is nice and clean and honestly similar between these two air pumps. And so with that said, there are a few other things that I think are worth remembering when we compare the two. So the first thing here is with the X tool, you do get that tubing that comes with it that you need to connect the pump to the laser head. You don't get that with the aquarium pump, but you can buy it on Amazon for like around 10 bucks. And so that's pretty inexpensive, all things considered. The other thing that's worth mentioning is the aquarium pump does have this dial that allows you to adjust the speed of the airflow. And I did test this out and it does work. So that's kind of a feature that the aquarium pump here has that the X-Tool one doesn't. Cause remember the X-Tool is just a basic on off switch. And we need to talk about price cause there is a huge cost difference between these two units. The X-Tool costs about 140 bucks and the aquarium pump at the time of recording costs around $45. You need to add in some extra money for the tubing. So let's say 10 bucks for that. Let's round it up to around $55. That's still a price savings of about $85, which is a huge difference, especially considering the fact that the performance in our testing today was essentially identical. And so if I was in the market personally for a new air assist and I didn't want to use a different solution like a air compressor or something like that, then I would definitely consider just getting an aquarium pump like this one and then getting that extra tubing. And so if you want to try that yourself, I'm actually going to put a link in the description to this specific aquarium pump and also the tubing that I think will work for it. I'm gonna put that in the description, and if you want to try this out, consider clicking through those links, because those will be my Amazon affiliate links, and so at no extra cost to you, I might get a little commission from Amazon for that, so if you wanna support me and the channel, that's a good way of doing it. But otherwise, thanks for watching my video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to, and the like button is always great as well, and I'll see you guys next time.